Happy June 8th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and Party fought off a pair of heavily armored insects who were, strangely, holding their shields backwards. I think I think these are arm straps, uh, and that's how you'd hold the shield. So um, maybe that's why they are terrified by us, our superior... Knowledge of shield handling. Um, anyway, the, they ran off uh, after uh, we um, did no damage to them whatsoever. So that is where we left things. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Okay. Are the insects behind this situation, or is it a mere coincidence? How did they drain the water, and can you reverse the process? Numerous questions arise, urging you to uncover the truth and find solutions. Begin at the X and navigate around the map. Visit each numbered area along your path. Explore and resolve each area you visit before you choose your next. We've done this sort of thing before. Um, we're starting up up here in the top left. I don't see any hidden icons. So, and I assume we're headed, we want to head down towards three. Uh, so let's check out room four. It looks like there's a, looks like there's a, some kind of creature in here. We'll head to four and then we'll, we'll uh, backtrack. We'll go one, two, and then three. So four, one, two, three is my plan. Um, if you have spring source written down from earlier, we do not. Your discussions with the fox earlier. Wow. We missed that completely. We, we've been rolling pretty poorly for a few days, so not surprising that we missed something. Um, okay, area four. A sleeping insect in the tunnel is startled awake. It raises its club and charges at you. Um, with loud chirping. <laughs> okay. It's got a defense of 16. So we want to beat its defense of 16 with our attack. 5 plus attack of 6 is 11. We do not hit it. So it attacks us with a, with a 15. So we have to defend. We have to roll 15 or better. 14 plus 6. That beats his attack. So we take partial damage of two and it, it doesn't say we fight to the death but it doesn't say we don't um should we keep going i don't know so far it's only been bosses that we keep fighting uh and there's no i'm gonna assume he runs off like the other ones Okay, that's area four. Uh, nothing left to do there. We'll head back to the X and then over to area one. A tunnel section slowly collapses from the weight of the town structures above. Slowly collapses. Parts of this block your way and you must crawl to get by. Maybe they mean um, it's in the process of slowly collapsing or has been slow. Okay, D20 plus dexterity. Reminder, danger sense that we do have danger sense. 7 plus 2 dexterity is 9 plus 2 danger sense is 11. That's the middle result. If we can get to 15, that's we're not going to do that. We only have one thing that can add to our dexterity. That's disco, and he would just add one point. So we get the middle result here. You get scrapes and bruises while navigating the treacherous section of the tunnel. You successfully make it through without causing a further cave-in. Reduce your health by one. We're down to 13. We're just getting uh, kind of death by a thousand cuts here. 13 of 19. That was area one. Area two has got this glowy stuff around the edges. Let's see. The otherworldly ambiance of this hidden cavern is mesmerizing. Glowing mushrooms cast a bioluminescent blue hue across the space. Roll d20 plus wisdom 
Reminder Investigator. We're not Investigator, but we have a plus two Wisdom. That's a 13. Um, plus two Wisdom is 15. Uh, that's the best result. Yeah. You identify these mushrooms as Lumina fungi, a rare and sought after species in the world of alchemy. You know how to safely harvest them without releasing their spores. You collect a few, which can be sold for a good price. Gain three amber. That takes us to 29 amber. Okay. And last but not least, area three. The echoing sound of dripping water draws you closer hinting at a potential answer to the town's water issues. Trusting your skills, you trace the sound. Roll d20 plus wisdom. 17 plus 2 is 19. That's the best result. The dripping water proves to be a decent guide. While you encounter some misleading branches and dead ends, your intuition mostly steers you in the right direction, and you have found the source of the well water. Excellent. Okay, well, I assume that's a good thing. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Oh, hold on before we go. Uh, this is uh, Saturday and Sunday, so we can do the Sunday lottery. Um, I, I find it weird that we can do this in, in uh, strange places, like, for instance, the caverns beneath a well in a swamp town uh and with not able to come up with a way to make that uh make sense and uh feeling like i'm leaving a lot of um amber on the table so to speak i've decided to embrace the nonsensicalness we did this one time before i'm gonna roll on these little tables i made to see how in fact we're gonna do this so we'll roll a six-sided die and we get an anthropomorphic unicorn wearing a tiara and a silk sash with the words Sunday Lottery embroidered in gold. Two lands in a candle powered miniature hot air balloon. <laughs> okay. And uh, it's holding a box. The box has a slot we can put into Amber. And then when we open it up, that'll allow us to open the box and there will be. Zero to six amber. That's how I've <laughs> reimagined um, this whole deal. So here we go. <laughs> One. There's zero amber. We lost our two amber. Uh, I should just not play this lottery because I'm terrible at it. It's fun though. Okay. <laughs> Back down to 27 amber. Uh, and that, my friends, is June 8th and 9th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again on Monday. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.